I spent the night last night in Vancouver Island's biggest city in front of a great big wall of graffiti. It was really nice to wake up this morning and see some artwork out of the side window of the van. <laughs> it, was, it was quite awesome. When I pulled up, I drove around some of these neighborhoods trying to see if I could find a place that I felt good to sleep. And I don't know why, this spot just seemed comfortable. And it worked. Morning, Cruzy. Oh, I am super excited for these. I got prescription sunglasses. These ones are progressive lenses though. So I can read things that are close up, like menus on the bottom, and then for my regular driving on the top. <laughs> and I can see my I can see my dashboard too. So I got a pair of sunglasses the other year that just had a single lens. But recently, in the last little while, I upgraded to progressives on my glasses and they were extremely hard to get used to the progressive part. I just about gave up on it and I'm glad I didn't because once I got used to that progressive lens, I'll never go back. So I ended up putting progressive lenses in my sunglasses too because every time I wore my sunglasses, I try to look down to read a map or read a menu while I'm wearing my sunglasses and I couldn't read downwards. So I used to have to carry a set of pocket glasses to read with. Now. I can be cool and functional. The sign there says two hour parking, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Saturday, which means we could park there outside of those hours for longer than two hours. That was a good place to sleep. Let's go, baby, let's go. Anyway, y'all, we, uh, we're in the biggest city on Vancouver Island. A lot of people continually ask what this 2.35 a.m. means on my hand. Um, so Disco is the last bulldog I used to have. He passed away at 2.35 a.m. And that night we were parked right here. It was snowing and I had to rush him to the emergency clinic. That night he died at 2.35 a.m. And I laid his ashes to rest right here by the ocean in front of the last moments that me and him shared together. So now he's here with this beautiful view. There used to be a sticker on this wall. This wall used to be concrete, but then they rechanged the whole wall. So we lost where I put the his memorial sticker. And uh, yeah, guys, if you ever come down here and you're looking for it, it's that house right there. So we, every time we come out to Victoria, we come down here and uh, pay him a little visit. Rest in peace, little buddy. All the biggest memories of my life come from living in my van. You see, I lived with Disco in my apartment for years and years before we changed and moved into a van, and I watched him change as a dog just as much as I changed as a person. We were having more fun, more adventures, and you would think that, you know, dropping a comfy, cozy apartment and living in a vehicle every night would have a lot of downfalls, but it didn't. We were outside more often than we were in the apartment, all the adventures that we were on, creating memories together, and this little guy had a chance to pee anywhere he wanted. He loved the van, from being up on the dash while we were driving, to just like passed out sleeping. Like how is that comfortable little buddy, come on. And then now after he passed away, that's little Cruzy Bear, the new travel companion. We feed Cruz an all raw diet. So Disco passed away because of stomach bloat. So Cruzies gets raw meat, a little bit of vegetables. This is sea kelp, not seek help, but sea kelp. <laughs> sea kelp, not, <laughs> anyway. And then this is a probiotic. And this is just a little bit of multivitamin, just in case anything's lacking in there. Turkey bone, turkey meat. This here is just a little bit of fish oil. This has beef organ and beef, uh, the stomach lining and tripe. 
it's a mixture of stuff. It's uh, tons of goodies for him. And he absolutely loves it. And our little buddy's got himself some breakfast. There you go, pal. We gotta add some mussels. These are some ground mussels. Okay, crazy. one sec. We'll add some more. Want some more? There you go. <laughs> Damn, look at that van. Oh my gosh. That thing is incredible. She's a beauty. Look at that thing. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, I want one of those. Yes, please. Whose van? Sell me your van. That thing's incredible. Right on the other side of us there are those mountains you see. That's the USA. I don't know why, but being in Victoria reminds me a lot about that fuzzy little guy. Disco was a rock star. We came out here one Christmas. They had the Christmas parade. I decorated the dog all up in like flashy Christmas lights and stuff. And oh man, he was he was a heartbreaker for sure. People were loving him. Anyway, we're actually out here because I have to sign some paperwork at a lawyer's office today. <laughs> what? We're gonna circle the block here 500 times and see if we can find a place to park. I don't want to park too way, too far away from the law office here, so probably gonna have to circle the block a dozen times. But well, wait a minute, maybe not. Bada, 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 boom. Can we park here? No parking toys on Monday to Friday, seven to four. That's a no go. We got one here though. <laughs> Don't get squish crowing. Done deal. Lawyer's appointment is all done. Don't worry, it was not a bad lawyer's appointment. Um, if you caught that video a while ago about me having some troubles getting um, a hold of my mom's will when she passed away, well, my aunt finally signed the release on that, so now. Now we got access to the wheel. There's the parking meter guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Keep walking, keep, oh, he walked by the van. We are safe. So anyway, this process now is, I signed the paperwork, she files the paperwork with the courts. Now that my aunt has signed her name off the will, now I have to apply for some grant of access or something like that. And then, uh, then we can close down all my mom's, sorry it's dark in here, all my mom's bank accounts and then uh, finish off all that stuff, thankfully. How goes it buddy? It's nice and cool back there, isn't it? You bet it is. That fan is on full blast, the roof vent is open full blast, and it is super cool back here. Whew. All right, let's get out of here. I'm back at that nice, big, grassy area. This spot looks familiar. I'm oddly excited about being here. So I had a little something happen today. A little, a little, a little something, a little something bad and a little something stupid. Inside of this Ziploc bag <laughs> contains, um, you see that? Contains, uh, yeah. So I went to the dentist the other day and we're getting a crown put on the top here. And this was my temporary crown and he told me not to eat anything sticky. And today I forgot about this temporary crown and I ate something sticky and off it comes. So uh, now we're going back to the dentist early because <laughs> they got to protect that 
tooth there before my actual crown goes on because if if that gets damaged then the crown that we got is not going to fit so uh yeah y'all <laughs> i screwed up <laughs> silly guy i was just talking to my buddy terrence the guy in the little blue micro camper and told him my plans for my last stack of days here on the island. I said, hey man, you're welcome to come out if you want. He just said, that sounds like a perfect way to spend some time. And the next text, however, <laughs> I, um, I have a few really good friends that are out here on this island. One is my buddy Terrence, and uh, another one is my buddy Daniel that's down in Victoria that I didn't get a chance to see while I was out there today. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool to start having some of my really close friends be close to me out here. I just wish I had more time on my hands to go down and spend more time with all of them. Uh, Daniel, I love you, brother. Whether we see each other once a year, once every two years, or every single day, um, we'll always have that bond of friendship, bro. And Terrence, well, you know the routine. I love you, brother. Brothers from another mother forever. So anyway, what's his excuse for not being able to come on and hang out with me? <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's, it's his beautiful woman's birthday <laughs> and her family's coming up. I know you guys see me missing more videos on my channel than ever in the history of Van City Van Life. I am bad for recording and editing and uploading content. I am a horrible YouTuber, horrible these days but there's a lot of things going on with me that I feel that's not really worthy of putting my camera on and showing you guys all the stuff that's consuming me from doing regular van life content. We all know there's some shirts and stuff that are possibly coming out soon and some stickers and the launch of a new website. That has been consuming me so much that I don't think you guys wanna watch me sit on a computer every day. <laughs> so um, yeah, and I'm going through a few things had a lot on my mind these days that I feel like I seriously need a monster change in my life and I don't know what that change is. I need to rock my boat, fully take my boat, flip it upside down again. The last time I did that was when I sold everything that I owned <laughs> and moved into my van like this silly bastard I am. That was the last time I felt what I feel right now. <laughs> Sounds like I'm about to say, I'm quitting van life, I am done. That is not the case. I am van life to the very bitter end. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop living in a vehicle, that's never gonna happen. But I do feel that it's time for me to rock my world a little bit. You know, keep things interesting, keep things inspiring for me to always want bigger, better, greater things out of my life. More fun, more adventure. Just take things from my level now up a little extra notch. And if you've been a long time follower of my channel, you know I've done that since the very beginning. From when I was broke and financed this van busted broke, paying super high interest on payments, and then I slowly worked my way up to get to the next level, pay off my debt, pay off the van. Then from there, I got to build a bit more. Then over the next stack of years, I worked my face off and built a little bit more. Now I feel like I'm at the point where I've been building and building and building over the years. Now I just wanna shake it up. Just wanna take everything I've built, flip it upside down and go, well, Welcome to the new chapter. I just don't know what that chapter is. I've just been having this feeling in here, which has also been a major reason on why I haven't been running my camera every single day as I always do, is because something in here says it's time for a change. Maybe when I get back, maybe the change is as I throw a for sale sign on that van. I don't know. I feel like I need to do something drastic. I'm not gonna quit the van and go back to an apartment because then, <laughs> no, 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 no thanks, that'll never happen. I, I will never, I, I say this with, with as much sincere confidence as I have in me right now. I will never pay rent to sleep, poop, and eat ever again. I pay rent at a shop right now, but paying rent at a shop is business. I use that place for a place of business. 
to make YouTube videos and to work on some future projects, AKA make YouTube videos. I don't pay to sleep at night. So to go back to pay however much, 30, 40 bucks a night, whatever rent is now, just to go, <sighs> no. So that's not the flip I'm doing. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like I need an absolute complete life change. Okay, maybe going life change. Maybe that's that's a little bit on the extreme side because the life part is not gonna change. Honestly, guys, I don't know. Do you guys ever get those points in your life where you feel like something needs to change? And I gotta say something to you guys that I, when I had this feeling the last time, I was trapped in a life that I thought I was never gonna get out of. I was in debt and because of that, I was a slave to the day job. I felt like I couldn't quit that because I needed that in order to survive and slowly pay back a little bit to all these creditors. But now in my life, I got that same feeling except it doesn't have that trapped section of it. I do have that same kind of feeling like I need something different. And I think that's natural for people to always want to continually grow into something in their life. And when life hits a point that you're like, heck yes, this is epic. I think there's a time when that epicness loses its hype and it just becomes cool. You know, that, it's just cool. Living the van life, it's just cool. It's a good lifestyle choice and I would never do anything else. But there comes a point where this excitement, this hype that I had is just, Right in the middle now, you know what I mean? Like if you rate that scale from like zero to 10, there was a time when this thing was a 10, now it's sitting right at about a five. And I feel like I need something to spice this up. So maybe selling the van and moving into the shop van, maybe that's the option. Cause the shop vans, I could like, I could bare bones it again. I could, I could just throw a basic bed in it and go out and just kind of start. That ambulance is still gonna be a little while ahead. There's a, I have a big vision for that one, like a really big one. But I don't know, I don't know guys, I just feel like something needs to be rocked and shaked in my world. So if you see a few skipped videos between here and probably June 21st, don't worry, I'm okay. I just don't have a lot of things going on right now that I feel I should film. I got days of dentist appointments, that's not fun. Maybe it is fun. Maybe, maybe I'll ask the dentist, hey, yo, can I vlog this appointment? <laughs> I, I wonder if he'd let me do it. Uh, Dr. Dennis, can I, can I vlog one of my dentist appointments? Um, he is actually a friend of a subscriber of mine. So I met some boys out in Winnipeg, awesome crew of dudes, and uh, he's one of their friends, and then that's how I got in there. So yeah, maybe, maybe Dr. Dennis will let me. I wanna film this. To end this video, if you guys have been following along, I'm really excited now that my aunt has signed off on my mom's will stuff. Um, she just didn't want to fulfill it. And I'm glad now that I now will soon have the control to find out what my mom wanted. Find out, you know, what's in her bank accounts and where it needs to go and what she needs me to do, you know? So, oh, phone's ringing. What we got, what we got, what we got? Oh, hello? Hi, hello, Carl. That was Jackery on the phone. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys are getting these videos like right now. Like this stuff's happening today. Um, it's been a long time since my videos have been like, you guys are right on my bumper. Sometimes my videos, you guys are like a week behind, but right now you guys are like right on <laughs> my bumper. I always look at it like that. Like how far is my audience behind me? Are they two, three days behind me? No, right now you guys are like right behind me. But that was Jackery. We had some brokerage problems with a new battery. They're releasing a brand new one. This one is wild, dude. Absolutely wild. And it's had some brokerage problems. So uh, <laughs> she just called me to inform me that uh, that's all been solved and fixed. And uh, that new battery should, uh, all the parts for the new battery because this oh i can't wait to show you guys this new one's pretty damn cool anyway guys thanks for riding along on another day and i'm sorry i haven't been keeping you guys updated as much as i i should um i've been getting emails from people worried about if me and cruz you're okay ever has something happened or what's going on um i've just had a lot of things outside of filmable youtube stuff going down in my world but uh Travel season's coming soon, my friends, and we are going on one heck of a Northern British Columbia adventure.
Thanks for watching. You guys hear that? Oh, it sounds like my fan on the side here has got a got a noise. Anyway, that's for another video. Peace out.